Hello, YouTube. This is Nathan Hunt with Nathan Hunt Technologies. I'd like to make a short video showing you my setup. This is my lab with the new free PBX phone system running off of any hardware, and in this case, a Raspberry Pi running at 700 megahertz, which is twice as fast as most of the phone systems that I'm used to installing. But now I'm working for myself and I'm marketing and selling the free PBX system, which is awesome. I'm also marketing Elastics. They're built off of Asterisk, um, essentially the same software off of Linux, completely open source. I've got an old Linksys phone I bought back in 2006. Uh, it's now Cisco SPA something else. Same phone. They just changed it since Cisco doesn't uh, own Linksys anymore. Got an old Panasonic phone. Got a Grandstream. This is this is the business here. This is a fantastic phone. Uh, it's got HD audio, just great. Both phones that I'm using here, uh, VoIP phones, are um, uh, PoE capable. Um, so if I, for instance, dial two zero two that extension, and we've got this Grandstream ringing, um, the HD audio is just phenomenal. Um, I turned on the voicemail just with a couple of clicks. Um, oh, there we are. This is two grand stream. Please leave your message after the tone. When done, hang up or press the pound key. So it's got voicemail music on hold. I could record my message. And when I'm done, just hang up right there. And... Now it's telling me that I missed four calls, which is great. And it's got this uh, missed call indicator and message indicator. It's actually a message indicator there. This is the missed call indicator right here. The LCD screen is awesome because I could set it to whatever I want to. <laughs> Grandstream sells us out of the box with uh, location technology so that it kind of knows where you are and gives you the weather. It doesn't have GPS or anything. It just has a general idea. I didn't configure that. Um, after a while, just like with Windows, the screen will change and you'll get a slideshow that you could upload if you want to see your kids. You could have the company's logo and it just stays like that. The configuration options with this phone are phenomenal. It's a six line phone. HD audio, like I said, it's got 24 busy lamp field buttons or basically uh, quick dial buttons on the side. I can configure other extensions or outside lines to these buttons over here. Um, and one thing that's really, really impressive is that it comes with Bluetooth. And so if this could clear up, okay, it comes with a, a Bluetooth antenna. So I could have any kind of Bluetooth headset and use with this as opposed to needing a $350 Plantronics headset. And then after a tech comes out and installs it, it's going to cost you $450. I mean, that's nuts. And that's what I'm used to <laughs> having to install, not so much selling phone is just fantastic and it gets a ton of accolades online uh, with ATA's analog terminal adapters I can integrate the free PBX system into uh, the the old um, analog phones that people might have this is one that uh, I, I'm used to installing but now I can install it with the free PBX system and any hardware this will run on top of and so there's a certified list of hardware um, this is a basic five or six extension phone system, a small office will run off of this, and there have been stress tests online. They say that up to 19 extensions will run off of the power of a Raspberry Pi and uh, nine concurrent calls. Now, I think that's at the limit. I'm going to go maybe up to 10 extensions, and with 10 extensions, you might have you know five or six concurrent calls at the same time. But this could be an entry-level phone system, and the Raspberry Pi, if you look it up online, you'd be surprised with the price of this. And so when the public hears about what's available, oh, this is the, uh, you may have heard of um, the Beagle Bone Black made by Texas Instruments. This is twice as strong as the Raspberry Pi. It's got a one gigahertz processor, 512s of RAM, 512 megs of RAM. This is twice as strong. So I could basically double anything I do with the Raspberry Pi on the Beagle Bone Black with this small form factor. And if I want to do something that's beefier, I could use any hardware I choose. I'll test it and I'll spend the time when it comes to working with the customer to configure the phone system. I don't know if this could be seen, but this is the configuration interface that's running off of the Raspberry Pi. I could also SSH to it with a uh, putty, which is what I've got running over here. And so 
This is all Linux and it is fantastic. So if this is something you'd like to learn more about, please get in touch with me, 270-4666. That's 406-270-4666. Thanks for watching.